When the rollout commences later this year, paramedics will immediately experience more consistent signal strength and a measurable increase in audio quality due to the network's capability to filter background noise and improve voice clarity. Paramedics will also experience improved coverage and signal penetration at key public locations. The Government Wireless Network technology will give paramedics the confidence of knowing if their emergency message has been transmitted and received. This is a great advance on the an analogue technology which can drop in and out mid-transmission. The new digital network will increase the outdoor portable coverage for the ambulance service by 46%, significantly reducing existing communication black spots. The network will also increase signal penetration at key public locations across the southeast network service area. Under the GWN, ambulance, fire and police services will share the same radio communications platform and frequency group and have access to common multi-agency talk groups. This will enable interoperability between the public safety agencies as well as with interstate emergency services during significant events. In the event of emergency or disaster, the interoperability capabilities of the Government Wireless Network will offer paramedics good situational awareness as they approach the scene. Talk groups will ensure those already on the ground are able to supply tactical support to those en route. For paramedics, this may include critical information regarding access to the scene, patient numbers and conditions and other important early knowledge. The benefit of the introduction of talk groups will be evident in circumstances like raids on clandestine drug labs which, due to extreme dangers, involve officers from all of our emergency services. The capability for instant information sharing via radios in and out of the vehicle rather than communicating via mobile telephones will improve the safety of officers and the safety of the surrounding community. The automatic vehicle location capabilities offered by the Government Wireless Network will help us to even better manage the dispatch of the appropriate ambulances to the appropriate cases. The AVL system allows us to evaluate the location of all vehicles in service in order to select the vehicle most appropriate for the response. The difference between the Government Wireless Network automatic vehicle location system and the current system is that the new system will allow for a more dynamic deployment and will be deployed throughout the entire South East Queensland service area. The narrowband data capabilities of the Government Wireless Network technology will allow database dispatch by emergency medical dispatchers, therefore reducing voice traffic and congestion at times of intense operational activity. By the way of contrast, the GWN will provide 47% more coverage across South East Queensland than the existing Queensland Ambulance Service mobile data terminal system. Currently, the portable radios used by paramedics do not have any duress capability at all. This is only available via the mobile data in the vehicle. The Government Wireless Network technology supports GPS-enabled duress alarms on portable radios. When activated, the silent alarm will be forwarded to the operations centre tagged with the last known location of the paramedic in distress. Importantly, the network will give paramedics confidence in the successful transmission of messages at critical times. The GWN will enable end-to-end -end encryption from the radio terminal to the radio consoles. This will offer protection against the interception of transmissions, preserve the pri uh, privacy of information rela relating to specific events and individual members of the public, and provide a more effective tool in combating the ever-increasing threats to information privacy and public safety. The automatic roaming capabilities of the GWN will remove the need for paramedics and senior officers roaming within the South East Queensland Network Service Area 
to manually select radio channels when they move across the local ambulance service networks. Of course, this is particularly relevant for the rescue helicopter and operational support units that work across a broad range of local ambulance service networks. The network will automatically select the best available base station to free paramedics and supervisors from the need to think about localised radio arrangements.